what's going on, my Box Chevy family? Hope y'all been blessed, man. Hope all is well. Um, as y'all can see in the thumbnail, we gonna try to do a little test fit with these 28s on the two door, see how they look. I know y'all been waiting to see it. I know it's a lot of people asking for them to go on the two door. Hell, I wouldn't mind putting them on a two door if they was 26s. I just didn't want to have to chop my two door up. If y'all don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you, but um, 28s definitely would look good, but it's less of a hassle putting 28s without a uh, seven inch lift. That got the seven inch lift, so it's gonna be more modifications to do. You know what I mean? So therefore, if I do put 28s on there, it'll be the five inch lift. So I'm debating right now, once I get this other car back, it will be mounted up with the 28s on it. So y'all kind of like stay tuned, stick around and, um. Y'all gon' y'all gon' y'all gon' y'all gon' y'all gon' y'all gon' get the picture, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. So I got him pulled out of y'all dusty. Last of them is a big package up here. The wind blowing that shit. Hell yeah, he just set my shit on the ground. With his funky ass. Yeah. Hell yeah, that shit over here. So I got two, three packages. In the back, he still don't say anything. Like, you see this type of shit? See that white line? That's the type of shit that happens when your painter don't take apart your car. Take the trunk lid off, take the doors off. That's the right way to do it. But I guess you get what you pay for. Only paid a few thousand for this paint. And this shows. It's a little cheap ass paint job. Definitely gonna do better on the next one though. Overall, it's decent, but you know, when you don't, when you don't take shit apart, you can see, you know, it shows, like, in the cracks and shit, you can see when somebody, you can tell the difference from a paint job when somebody broke the whole car down and painted it, but like I said, overall, when you wash it up, it look good, but like I said, again, you get what you pay for, so don't be one of those people who say, I know somebody who can do it cheaper, pay what you weigh, man, and get it done right the first time, I'm learning that myself, too, so I ain't no different. But yeah, y'all see, I, I put the weather stripping on this door. I started, I gotta finish it, but look much better, brand new. All the way around the door, I gotta finish putting it around the bottom. And it actually didn't match up exactly like it was supposed to right here. But they, they do have an adhesive, I'm put the adhesive right here where it's a stick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. So this is the driver's side right here, I gotta do that one still. So yeah, like I said, it ain't perfect, but everything is in motion. In motion, it still looks good though, man. They still look good. That other car, that's gonna be the hit. That's gonna be the hit right there. We not playing no games with that one. See this big boy out here, man, in the shine in the sun looking good. I love these wheels. This is a nice design right here. I've been wanting these wheels for a while. I had inbox MTW billing a while back about those wheels, like a, over a year ago, telling them I was gonna come get them. And I finally decided to go ahead and grab them, man. Go big boy status. I'm debating on doing something with this uh, console because it actually don't fit like it's supposed to. I see that big gap in here. And I ain't knocking my man Steve Davis. I know he was, uh, this was I think one of the first ones he made, so it probably was trial and error. But it's a big gap right there, but I don't know. I might just leave it. I'm not really too concerned with this car. So we'll see, man, we'll see. Y'all done seen all this already. I just go over it again for the people who haven't seen this car though. But let me see something. Even when I push it all the way up in here, it's going to me and look decent. But hey, it is what it is, man. He was supposed to be making me another one for this car, but I, I decided not to go with another one. I said, I'm going to wait. Because I was on the fence about this car. I was on the fence. There was so many people trying to buy it that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But this car cleaned up so good that when I wash it, it looks so damn good. I'm like, man, I'm gonna keep my car. But then I have my days where I say, fuck it, I'm gonna sell it. But I need to get another impact strip too to cover these two holes. I'm gonna buy a new one off of uh, eBay. They only like $229. So for those y'all been looking, they only on eBay for $229. So don't go for the okie doke. Get an arm and a leg for it, man. If I can help y'all out and send you on the right direction on where to find one, I'm gonna do that for y'all, man. But let's get started. Let me pull these wheels off, man, and we're gonna get this thing jacked up.
see that wide ass tire raw. Yeah, I see everything under here brand new too. All this shit is brand new. This is not, of course, new brakes and shit, new brake calibers, but um, you see they got the coilovers in there too. I got front and back coilovers, upper control arms, lower control arms, brand new. All of that good shit is all new. Ooh, that thing look good. This is a man, no brainer right here, really. But how does that brush look off that blue with the pearl in it? I'm gonna have to still stick these on my other car, man. The ones that's on the blue one will be input on here. I already hollered at the paint man, you know what I'm talking about? The one who painted the reels originally, which is Pito, player's choice. He gonna uh, paint them other rims midnight blue pearl to match this car, so that's an option. I'm not sure if somebody buying me 40 in a wheel, because I'm really not trying to put this car together now, but then again, I might just put the blue car rims on here and it'd be a package deal. If I ever get rid of it, the wheel's stuck with the car. You know what I'm saying? That's how it might go, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Money talks. But ain't shit for sale as of this moment, ain't shit for sale. But you know, like I said, if somebody comes with the right bag, I might let him come in, you know? But who knows? Who knows? You get the low ball and shit get the coming off. Grill get the coming off. Wheels get to coming up, you know, all type of shit. So like I say, man, who knows? But uh, as of now, it ain't for sale though. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them blue wheels on there. I need to, I need to feel that vibe of them two, two boxes back to back on eights. You know what I'm talking about? I need to feel the vibe of that, but y'all can see, you got a little space in here to turn it though. Cause if I straighten the wheel out, it just hit that just a little bit. So if I take that little piece off and push that forward, it will be gravy. it will be gravy, man. But yeah, I jacked the other side of the car up just so y'all can get the get the picture, man. Cause look, this the difference. See, it's sitting up even because I put the jack on there, but look how high it'd be sitting. That motherfucker, and it's really this camera ain't doing no justice. This boy's sitting up high. He's sitting up high, man. But um, this wasn't number the little test fit though. Just to see what he's looking like. But to be honest, I get a lot of heads turning with the with the, with the rally wheels on there. Being honest with you, that's why I really wasn't too keen on putting rims on here because my original plan and if y'all look at my older videos i mentioned rims when i first bought it but once i put the rallies on there in the ls i kind of like or not even when i put the rallies on there when i bought the other car that's when i decided like okay this can be like the original looking muscle car the other car gonna be the showstopper let's see what you got little man you lost it over the winter uh-oh you lost it let's see what you got There you go. Don't stop till you make it, baby. That's how life go. You don't stop. You keep going. You don't make it. You try again. You know what I'm talking about? I'm raising winners around here. Let me let daddy take a couple shots. All right. Here we go. This ain't no editing shit. It's the first shot. That's right, we gotta get some more basketballs. Y'all left this one outside too long. Let me try one hand. Okay, switch to the right. Here we go. One hand. Ah, oh, y'all didn't even get to see that. I had the camera too high. Let me say that again. Always missed the best shots, man. Uh oh, there go the old boss lady just pulled up. Up safe, here we go. Oh, that was left-handed though. Let's see what you got. Ah, look, he got it, though. Oh, damn. Are you, yeah, I grab it. I'm gonna close the garage and Oh, man, you got some practicing to do, buddy. We gonna catch you on the next one. I gotta roll. What it do, what it do, boys? Well, this why my light bill so high? Yeah, I remember that extra Xbox I said I had. I bought one for them and one for me. Well, that's one. They got other one. They even took over my little shit. I see you though, player. What you playing? 2K21. How it been though, man? You good? Tang Tang. They holding you hostage in here, man. P. You ain't you ain't acknowledge me, man. See you in a minute. That boy don't pay attention to nothing but these. These are sport ass kids, man. Super sport. All right, I'm out of here. Catch y'all in a minute. Peace, Tang. That's pretty much it for this video, man. I'm laid back as y'all can see. I'm finna chill. I had a long day, long productive day, man. So, 
Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all just watching this video, man, once again, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all y'all, man. Till next time, man. Peace.